I don't have enough time to finish this. Rest, okay, basically, it was a victory for me in that we got through every single question she had. She asked if we donated money, and I said my family did, which is a lie. But I feel that because my family is gay people, we ha any money we have is kind of already going there. So it's the same thing. Um, and they let us go. And that is, the, I believe that is the first time in the history of queer poor people that we, you've been told. They, they, she literally told us, "You may leave. You're good. You're clear." Too excited. All right, we're gonna have Ashley Gavin and then we're gonna have Denny Del Cole. Denny yeah. Del Cole! And then we're gonna have Faso Alam. All right. Yeah. All right, first give it up. Very funny, Ashley Gavin. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Hey guys. Uh, thank you. I, I'm, also, I'm a lesbian. Um, God, I feel guilty when I don't give them money though. God, oh, it's the hypocrisy. I'm just like, I'm fine. I don't need more rights. I, I need. I need my. Uh, I need to not give you my email address more than I need gay marriage. Um, <laughs> that's, that's how I feel. Uh, my mom told me. Well, the other day I heard this thing from my mom. She was like, "You know, when you have a sex dream, when you have it about the same sex." that other person is actually just you. And I was like, I'm gay. I have sex dreams about women all the time. They couldn't possibly all be me. She was like, no, 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 I guess it's just reverse for you. Like when you dream about a man, that's you. I was like, I had a nightmare last week that I was raped by a bald guy with a face tattoo. She was like, yeah, that's you. <laughs> Thanks, Remy. That's how it's normally been going. Uh, but I fucked, I kind of I kind of tell, tell, telegraphed the end of that. The thing about, okay, I always hear from, the, my number one thing that I hate when, when guys say this, you, you know, I don't, I don't fuck guys, so I don't have a lot of problems with guys. I feel like that, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't fuck guys, so I don't have problems. Like, but the one thing that I hate is that they're like, she's crazy. Women are crazy. It's like, no, they're not. Men are way crazier than women. Men shoot people more than women. They shoot themselves more than women. Like, when a woman goes crazy, she's over-decorated for the fall season. Like, that's a crazy bitch. When a man goes crazy, he shoots himself over Star Wars. You understand? That's like, I thought that was a really funny tag. That, you guys know that happened? A dude killed himself over Star Wars? No, why? That's, that's because of the whole black, the lead. Like, just fuck, that's crazy, okay? Like, women, like, you don't like that they have too many pumpkin spice candles, but it's not crazy. It's just a thing that you don't like. Anyway, uh, so this is an all men versus women set, so I apologize. But, uh, I don't, uh, I don't have a problem with penises but I find them fascinating and strange from a scientific perspective. Because penises are shapeshifters. <laughs> Have we fully explored this? They can, from one minute they're this, and then the next minute they're that. That is fascinating. Like other species of, of animal, like their penises, they just hide, and then they come out. You know what I mean? But, but ma a man's penis can literally change form. That's some Harry Potter shit right there. Okay, we're muggles, all right? Things are as they seem in this realm. I thought that was really funny. Oh, but then I realized, no, that's nothing compared to a woman making a baby. That's nothing. Like, that, that's unbelievable. That's like, that's crazy. That's like, that's like if your dick could make another dick. <laughs> and it would come out of it. I know a lot of guys are like, my dick makes dicks. No, your dick makes sperm. It makes dick potential. I'm talking about another, like, clone of your dick emerging from your dick. Like, that's, that's the level of crazy. It's going to work. It's going to work. I know it. I can feel it. Um, I think that when God made people, like, erections were just like a consolation prize. <laughs> Like, Adam knew that Eve could have a baby, 
and like got like pissed about it. He was like, she can, she can make a person? She can, what, what the fuck could I, I want to do something. God, bro, like, I want something. And God's just like, I don't know. I don't know. You can inflate your dick. You can inflate your dick. I don't know. I don't know. What? No, I don't want, I want something cool. Can I have a gun? Yeah, you can have a gun. No, no, a water gun. You can have a water gun, okay? You have a water gun down between your legs. And he was like, yeah, pew, 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 pew. Like, that's, that's what that is. You know, a lot of, they don't teach this in history, but an early man, men were just coming all like, on each other all the time, all the time. Fuck, stuttered on that punchline, but I think it's pretty good. All right, this was uh, rough, but I firmly believe in what I said, so thank you. Crazy, am I right? <laughs> Give it up for your next comic, Danny Del Cole! Thank you, man. I did, I did just do Star Wars. It was crazy. Uh, Tony Montana dies at the end. Right. Okay. Hey, hold on, I'm, I'm parachuting. Hey, guys. Oh, can you give me like five minutes? Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you're watching for the first time, I am a like semi-professional comedian. I tour colleges nationally. I had my TV debut a couple of months ago. Things have been some uh, things have been pr pretty good for me. Uh, so yeah. So now I didn't see any of the comments that you made before. So now I take questions and comments from you guys. So if you were commenting before, please say it again. Do you still do the tea sweetener joke? I do, but it's not. It's not great. Papa Smurf, when I say semi-pro, I mean I make about half my income from comedy, and then I do a little freelance, whoop, a little freelance work uh, to support the rest of it. You did not think it was funny. Anything? I just told a bunch of jokes, Cheetah. I feel like you felt that it was bad. Wait, which one? Which joke? I know why Adele crossed the road. So does everyone else. Uh, which joke though, Cobrate? And why? The whole gig. Okay, well, you, that's fine. I wish you were more specific so that I could make improvements, but you just thought the whole thing was bad. <laughs> I got a lot of laughs. Uh, so let's see. Haters gonna hate. Uh, it's okay. You guys can go watch it again. I do a, uh, I keep talking under my breath. What the fuck? What is that? I did the whole set whispering, actually. I've never been told I'm quiet in my life. Um, it was okay. The room was really a tough room. Cobra, so here's the thing. What you're watching right now is me working on new material. So when I'm up there, I'm not really there to uh, entertain. Uh, what you just watched was an open mic where I'm working on new stuff. If you want to see my fully polished set with no interruptions and just perfect shit, you can go to my YouTube channel, which is in my bio. This is true for all of you guys. You can go check out my YouTube channel where you can see my TV appearance. Uh, or you could check out my website, which has other club videos, and those are fully polished sets. But what you guys are, Cobra, I'm responding to your feedback. So what you guys are seeing now is all new stuff. Um, so saying that none of it was funny, I know that's not true because I heard laughs in the room. But if you can give me a specific note about you didn't like this setup or you didn't like this punchline or blah, 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 that would be helpful. Guys, I'm trying to kill him with kindness because there's no, like, he's sitting at home on his ass wishing he was a comedian and giving feedback to this person on Periscope. That's what, uh, of course I bombed. Of course, every comedian, every comedian bombs fairly regularly. Um, so uh, it, it's a normal part of it. Even Jerry Seinfeld, I got to meet him and I talked to him and I asked him, when was the last time you bombed? And he was like, I bombed a year ago and just like I was blown away. Of course I don't think I'm good every time. I thought that that was, you know, so-so. Um, I don't think I bombed tonight, Cobrate. I think I got a laughs. Some of the jokes bombed. Some of the individual jokes didn't do well, but that doesn't mean I bombed. Cobrate, 
Do you know what feedback is? Have you ever like handed in a paper? Does it ever just, when you hand in a paper, you slide it in, you get the paper back. Does the teacher just like F hated all of it? No, they like mark things and they write comments and they try to help you. But your feedback is just like, I hate you. I, I, I think you're asshole. Uh, uh, it, it shits fire and I think your mouth spews venom and like, you don't, like I know that but that's what you're that's what you're uh, that's what you're telegraphing here I guess I've asked you four or five times to give me a specific note and you haven't that's what I'm trying to say um, and if you want to see polished polished stuff you can go and check out my uh you can check out my my YouTube channel. Ugh, any other questions? <laughs> I'm not I'm not worried about him. I just got signed to a major agency yesterday, or a major management company yesterday, so I'm feeling pretty on top of the world, actually. Uh, every time you said a bad joke. Um, guys, I don't tell jokes, but during the feedback time because it's not it's not like the way that uh, uh, it's not an effective use of time erections was a consolation I thought was funny yeah that I thought that that didn't really get a laugh and I was curious why it didn't I think the joke might be coming off a little heavy handed on the like I think it might have felt a little man Haiti and it's not supposed to be it's just more like it's supposed to be more like uh, like a creation story in the um, and I, I think it's sort of interesting, and I definitely don't want it to be man Haiti. I just want it to be sort of because erections are so weird to me. They're just like they're they're fascinating to me. Um, it's not out of hate. It's more like how did this evolve? You know what I mean? Like I'm curious about them. Um, I find them really fascinating because my vagina it's just a vagina all day long. You know what I mean? Like I never look down there and I'm like oh shit. <laughs> That wasn't there before. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it publicly, but uh, I'm pretty happy about it. Um, ask God, he created us. Right, that's exactly what I'm trying to do in that joke, is is figure out, uh, you know, how that conversation went. You just call me sweaty instead of sweetie? Mm, mm, you called me sweaty and you meant to say sweetie um, I have iPhone murmur me man I have iPhone <laughs> Colbert I I don't think that I think we're talking past each other I think I'm hearing what you're saying I I'm not upset. Um, I get feedback all the time. I just don't think you're hearing what I'm saying about, yes, but I can't get be better from the feedback that you gave me. What you just said implies that I should scrap all of those jokes, that none of them had any potential whatsoever. And that's obviously not true because a bunch of people laughed at a bunch of those jokes, not all of them. So if you're going to give me feed feedback, I need to hear specifically which ones you didn't like and why. I feel like I'm giving a seminar on human communication right now. Here we go. All right. Waiting for the feedback. I'm not trying to be mean, and I don't think I sound aggressive or mean. Uh, I think you're just trolling me now, dude. So... Why would someone like something that was not funny? This is really good. Thank you, Cole, Cole, Cole Brait. I'm not upset, dude. More people thought it was funny. One person didn't. You do the maths. The person next to Ashley is like, is there someone next to me? Um, hey, Vader, how's it going? Good to see you again. Um, I don't know. Trolls are really interesting to me. Because, like, I've, of course, everyone, I think, has had the experience of trolling somebody. It doesn't make you happy. Like, it really doesn't. 
You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't fulfill your day. It doesn't... I've never insulted someone on the internet and thought, yeah, I feel better now. I feel much better. Mm -hmm. I, I needed to I needed to shit on that person on the internet. It's really, really weird. Um, so, I don't, you know, I don't really fully understand it. I don't think you insulted me at all. I think you gave unproductive feedback. I think you didn't like the set, and I have no idea. Colbrate, I was on television doing stand-up two or three months ago. I had to audition and go through hundreds of people to do that. I was called in by America's Got Talent to audition. I just got signed by management. Telling me to quit my job is not helpful, okay? Especially when you have like just so many typos in it. And it's like, you, you come on, dude. Sweaty. Right, but you're telling me to quit my job based on five minutes of material that you've that you know is new? You're 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 making a circle for yourself, dude. You're you're if you could give me one specific note. If you could give me one note. I enjoy arguing these people because I just love to like make them see how, you know, I love to reverse it on them. I love hecklers. I said quit job oh, because I can't take feedback. You don't think I took feedback from the club that, that put me on TV? I changed jokes for that. Oh, I've been playing colleges. I just started playing colleges in uh, August. I auditioned for uh, the colleges back in... Uh, no, I learned that before I met you, dude. Okay? I learned that before you existed because that happened in the past. So I've learned nothing from you other than how long you can sit, how many typos per minute you can make and how much time you can waste me, you know, ripping you a new asshole. Um, dude, like, get a therapist. Like, I know you want to sit down and talk about your anger with someone. I started doing colleges August 27th. That was my first college. And I've done uh, about 20 colleges. And I'm signing up for, thanks guys. I'm signing, I'm trying to get new colleges for my 2016, 2017 tour. Um, you know, a lot of people, I think the really big stars don't want to do colleges, but I've had no problems doing colleges. I haven't had problems with the PC thing. Um, I'm because I don't really make a lot of racial offensive comments. Most of my things are pretty gender positive, homo uh, like uh, homosexuality positive, race positive. Um, best campuses to play for. That's a good question. I don't think I've seen done enough colleges to uh, to make a definitive statement, but one of my favorite shows is right here, Pratt, uh, in Brooklyn. I had a great show up in Genesee Community College, which was really awesome. awesome. I'm trying to get to Montreal, and I just did stand-up in France. Uh, I went to France in October, and uh, I did some stand-up there at some English-speaking shows, and that was really, really cool. These are great. These are awesome questions, guys. I would love to. Is that where you're from? Guys, I'm working on it. I'm trying to I'm trying to go big or go home. I'm working on it. Alright guys. Uh, anything else? Any other questions? If you thought any of this was funny, uh, please do thank you. Please do follow me. Um, you know, because this is all new shit. It's all shit I'm working on. It's all shit that when I figure out specifically what's wrong, specifically what's wrong, I'm going to twist it and make it better, come back, do it again, twist it, make it better, come back, do it again. That is a critical part of being a comedian, something I've been doing for a long time now. Uh, and I don't just get off on stage and go, bad, me have an iPhone. Um, yeah. So... Yeah, we, or if you really want to see what a finished, polished joke looks like, what a perfect joke looks like, you can check out my bio. I've got a link to my YouTube channel. You can subscribe, or I've got a link to my website. You can check it out. Um, thanks, guys. You were awesome. Thank you for letting me hammer on that troll a little bit and not leaving. Make a joke about Periscope experiences. You know what? I probably will. 
I love animals. I'm a vegetarian. I hit a possum with my car and I cried for like three days about it. It was terrible. Aw, oh, Vader. I don't want to be president. No, that's a terrible job, but thank you. All right.